Hey guys, my name is Montana. I'm coming to you live from G-Tech, and today we're going to be showing you how to check piston ring and end gap. The only tool you'll need for this is a filler gauge. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a ring off. So we're going to grab our ring. You want to be careful not to scratch the piston. So you're going to pull it out and around. If it wants to come off right now. There we go. There we go. We got our ring off. So now we're going to go over to the cylinder right here. And then compress it. We're going to put it in there so it stays in there. There we go. Then you want to grab the piston and push the piston down on it to flatten it out and get it down where it's going to be riding. There we go. There. And now we're going to take our filler gauge and we're going to measure the gap to see which one it is. So. Too small. Let's go with that. Too small. Let's go with 14. 20-35 millimeter. Still too small. So keep going. Let's go with a point forty. Let's see if that fits. More. So, 0.45. Wow. This gap's a lot bigger than I thought. There we go. <clears throat> this gap right here for this piston is 0.55 millimeters. And guys, that is how you check the ring end gap for your piston, so you know what your end gap is on your rings. Yeah.